Hello everyone and welcome to the Voidcast. We're going to play some Dungeons and Dragons and more importantly have a lot of fun doing it. This will be the third live episode of the Precipice of Dreams. If it's your first time here, welcome. And if you've been here with us before, welcome back. We really appreciate that all of you are coming along on this adventure with us. So to start things off, I'm going to give the word to Michel who's going to say something about our social media. Yes, so we really need your guys' support, uh, and you can do that in multiple ways. First of all, uh, as you're already doing, watch this live stream. Uh, that's great on Twitch TV uh, slash Voidcast Live. Uh, interact with us in chat. We love it. Uh, then on YouTube, you can subscribe, like our videos, uh, and, and watch them. Uh, we put the VOD up uh, about three days after the live stream. Then follow and uh, uh, interact with us on Instagram and Facebook. That's where we post pictures of our artwork, of our adventure, the maps, uh, some behind the scenes uh, pictures of what it looks like uh, uh, behind the camera. Um, and uh, yeah, where we post some uh, short stories. And last of all, we have a website called uh, playvoidwalkers.com. Uh, um, play hyphen hyphen voidwalkers.com. Uh, and everything that I just talked about is sort of condensed on there as well. So uh, yeah, be sure to follow, like, subscribe, everything. Thank you. Yeah, for your no, thank you. Um, then, uh, Jasper, you want to say anything about uh, your own show that you're running now? Two episodes. Well, I have my own show right now? Yeah, 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 you do. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Yeah, um, well, uh, Jin will be my next guest on Talking Void, which will be hilarious, I can tell you right now, uh, because of things. Uh, which is, uh, has become a staple word to, to say when I don't know what to say, things. So things will be happening on Talking Void next uh, Tuesday. Be sure to uh, uh, post your uh, questions anywhere you like, but you can always uh, uh, throw, uh, throw them on uh, uh, your email and send them to uh, voidcastlive at gmail.com. So I'm starting to look in the camera. I'm hoping I'm doing it right, but uh, for some reason I tend to look at screens instead of the camera, which is, so. well, here I'm going again. Back to you. <laughs> yeah, we really need those screens though, because stuff's happening you know, <laughs> on the screens and not on the camera. But uh, yeah, you can send in questions anywhere, like uh, beneath YouTube videos. Uh, if you want to ask us something, just do so wherever yep. you meet us. Um, yeah, before we do the recap of the previous session, uh, we want to once again show you the introduction to the world uh, of the Precipice of Dreams. And here it goes. Adolf. Over 200 years ago, the world trembled in the wake of the last god. When the gods disappeared, they took all the fire magic with them, and the world fell into chaos. Six years after the god fall, a new god arose. Aeon, god of the world. But the damage had been done. have become corrupted, leaving them uninhabitable and dangerous. Now, five unlikely adventurers gather, and the world will be changed forever as they journey beyond the precipice of dreams. And we're back. Um... Yeah, uh, one more thing before we do the recap. I want to give a shout out again to uh, Stone Golem for letting us uh, use their music uh, pre stream and uh, during the break uh, in uh, an hour or so. Uh, so, thanks again, guys. We, we uh, appreciate that. And the uh, recap today will be done by Michel. So, take it away. Will it, will it be done by Michel or will it be done by Old Leaf? Good question. I'll leave that up to you. Question. Well, I 
Oddleaf Ravensvanger started out on a journey to write a new epic. Uh, and to do so, um, I had to do some research and I'm researching some, some things for my story. And uh, this has led me on a path to the city of Brentwick. Uh, on my way there, I met uh, some other people, namely uh, Bowen, uh, the Acolyte, uh, Solwing the Monk, and uh, Gunther and Thomas, the Knight and uh, his Squire. Uh, and we went on our journey together to Brentwick. Uh, and on the road, we got attacked a bunch of times by uh, bandits um, called, uh, called the Scarlet Blade. And uh, Last episode, we arrived in Cabri, uh, and during the night, we were attacked again. Uh, and uh, these bandits, apparently not from the Scarlet Blade, but other bandits were looking for a small chest uh, that Gunther, Sir Gunther, had with him. Uh, <clears throat> we defeated the, the bandits, we got the chest back. Uh, and the next morning, we uh, we decided to take a look at what the contents of this uh, chest and found a shard of magical glass. Uh, since I am one of the only uh, arcane pra practitioners, or at least I was the only one that uh, seemed to uh, care about handling this item carefully, uh, I took it upon myself to uh, take care of it uh, until uh, such time that Gunther needs it again. Um, <clears throat> to keep it safe um, and in that same uh, night that we were attacked Solwing was attacked as well by a crazy uh, crazy monk priest guy from a monastery and he seemed to be uh, we don't know what madness has uh, befallen him but uh, he tried to get Solwing's blood and bones and feathers and it was uh, very scary stuff uh, so it was time for us to leave Cabri, and uh, while on the road to our next stop, we decided to take a small stop uh, to, to, to have a bite to eat, uh, when Thomas noticed in the tall grass somebody watching us, after we had just learned that the crazy priest that attacked Solwing had escaped. And that's where we pick off, pick up. Yeah. So uh, you're about halfway uh, towards Brester. Uh, it's getting a bit late in the afternoon when you are taking this break. Uh, uh, you didn't le uh, leave in the morning because most uh, caravans that leave Capri for Brester leave in the morning, so they arrive uh, in the evening. But you're not going to make that, so you will either arrive there around midnight or you'll have to take uh, a break somewhere along the road. Um, but yeah, you're taking a break now for some dinner, I presume. And yes. yeah, uh, Thomas spotted someone uh, trying to hide in the grass and not doing a very great job of it. Yeah, and I already alerted the rest of the party, right? Um, take it away. Or we were yet pointed. Okay, uh, guys and ladies, someone is looking at us uh, from over there, and I. And nudge my head over where I saw the, the, the yeah, well, intruder or a spy or whatever it is. I don't, uh, I don't uh, uh, avert my eyes from it. I just keep my eyes focused on the spot that I saw the well, creature that's watching us. Um, do I see it? Uh, yeah, it's not that hard to spot it. Uh, it's, you, it's clearly a person. Trying to hide uh, in the grass. Uh, it's very tall grass here, but uh, yeah, you see his hood uh, sticking out. It's purple. Uh, uh, can purple somebody? Hood? Shall we just call out to him? It's, uh, it's close. I, I sent um, I, when we left the city. I uh, asked. Uh, I called Kiss back to this realm, uh, and I sent him up in the in the sky to. Uh, to keep watch from above, not especially vigilant, but uh, just so he's nearby, but far enough away. Uh, and how does that work? Well. The, the link between you, do, do if he notices something, does he alert you or what? Well, he, uh, he, yes, we, well, uh, he can make his own perception checks and he is aware of his task, so he could alert me. 
uh, but uh, that's more uh, in the sense that uh, he has he is his own person in a way and i can of course look through his eyes but when i do such a thing i will always uh, state that i'm doing so so i'm not doing that right now all right showing really act surprised when you do it because he didn't see kiss before right yeah uh, oh that's yeah. the uh, first time you guys meet I'm, I'm, oh, I'm that's really true. By the want to rewind suddenly... a, bit, a bit? Because you summoned them earlier, right? Like when you left. Yes, uh, I summoned them earlier, but we, we because in the haste of the end of the session, uh, we uh, didn't have a lot of time to discuss this. But uh, I discussed it with the dungeon master, and he was okay with it because I would have done that. Uh, I'm the nice last. Guy. Uh, yeah. So, do you want to uh, rewind yeah. and <laughs> have Solwing meet uh, uh, Kiss for the first time? Or as in the uh, yeah, of course. Okay, if, uh, yeah, let's let's do that. So. Yeah, so so as I'm walking uh, outside of the city, uh, uh, taking my uh, chest on wheels, be, uh, uh, dragging it behind me, uh, suddenly I I look up to the sky, make a few hand gestures with my uh, hand that's still empty of chest, and uh, this uh, small owl appears. Well, you know the description is uh, brown feathered, green tipped owl with cat ears. Uh, with fluffy uh, feathers uh, that uh, stick out of uh, his brows and ears and uh, and uh, make up for a long tail. Uh, and it just pops into existence and uh, lands on my shoulder. Uh, I didn't don't give it any uh, second thought when I do it, but uh, yeah, that's what happens. So I uh, stand back surprised for a few seconds and then I'll did you just conjure a bird out of thin air? Uh, oh, uh, well, yes, uh, in, in a sense, yes. If uh, Well, technically, um, I'm using... Yes, I'm conjuring it through magic. Uh, yes. And, and what, what's its purpose? Its purpose? Oh, um, well... I think that uh, in a way, uh, before Aiden was in this world, well, I don't really know the the, the, the purpose of birds in general, uh, because I have no clue how they came to be in creation, and just know they are here. Um, we, we come from and, eggs. What? We come from eggs, birds and... Yeah, well, but, but the egg came from a... Bird. Oh, and the bird, bird came from a egg, egg. Yeah. an egg. So I don't know where that started, and I, but I, I especially do not know what the purpose of, of birds is in general. So, uh, but if you want to be specific about this bird, um, he is is kind of my ally. Uh, I, I oh, oh sorry, well, uh, hmm? sorry, sorry. I thought, I thought it was going to be dinner. <laughs> what? You eat yeah, birds? Of course, I eat birds. Don't, chicken is very, very tasty. Oh, that's it's true. Very well, as you do. That's true. I, I take a glance at Kiss and then suddenly shake my head. No, this bird is not for eating. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, when he dies, he disappears. So we can't eat him anyway. Uh, either way. Um, now, Kiss is well. You. I guess you, you could call him a friend, but in a way he's more than that because I always feel like we are connected in some way. I can look through his eyes and he, uh, uh, he often seems to know what my intentions are. But when I was in the cloister, I, I, I didn't get him out that much uh, because, uh, well, the cloister didn't really agree with the way I summoned him or what's happening everybody's I put a picture <laughs> of Kiss up on the stream ah okay <laughs> uh, so <laughs> uh, and uh, um, so he, he was out very little only when I left for a longer time which wasn't that much and a longer time was uh, uh, well mere hours not days or anything I've never been that far away as I am now, so 
Yeah, this is Kiss, and he's my friend. That's the short answer. Uh, and his purpose is being a friend and uh, okay. So I being a, a companion, I think. Ooh. He says, Ooh. Ooh. I nod Ooh. and I say, I have no idea what kind of owl it is. Well, it's a small one. That, I that's would. I don't know what owl. Is. I've never seen another owl, owl like him because he's quite strange. You know, he's got cat-like ears. Yeah. Which owl has cat-like ears? I don't know. No owl that I know of. No. That's why I'm 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 surprised and curious. Can he fly? Uh, yes, yes he can. Kiss. Go, go on, make a circle. Kiss makes a circle above our heads and lands back on my shoulder. Yeah, so did you really talk to him right uh, right then? I, I was checking if he was reacting to other owl sounds that I know, and he did. Okay. So it wasn't a whole conversation uh, in just two syllables. No, you you don't have to be afraid that he doesn't like you. I know he likes me. I do. What? I Wait, do. should I be? What? No, no, no. It's cool. Okay. He seems like a proper friend. Yes, he is. He is. So, um... Yeah, yeah. Shall we skip ahead? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we fast forward a few hours. You guys are having uh, dinner. Bones probably preparing the meal. You spot someone in the, in the grass. Uh, Kiss is flying uh, in circles. And the last thing I said before we did this small uh, step uh, backwards in time was, shouldn't we just call out to him? Call him out? Like, I, I look at the hood. Does it seem familiar? Um, yeah, a bit. As in from, the, from the church? The, the, the other people at the church have similar... It's, it's, it, the, the color uh, reminds you of uh, the garb they were wearing. And Bowen is wearing as well. This might be the mad uh, acolyte. Well, and it isn't. It so. isn't a professional uh, hider, it seems. But okay, we just, shall we just call a call out to him? Or I could just fly in another direction and see if he follows me. Then we know if it's the one that is uh, obsessed with me. We can solve this right now to ask him to come out of the tall grass. If that's the proper way to do that, then I think that. that's a good idea. Says Thomas. But I, okay. I do remember. Okay, I, st <laughs> I stand up, pull myself up on my spear, and I say, Hey, you there in the tall grass, show yourself. Well, the person in the grass, uh, he stands up in a bit of a shock, and uh, yeah, he's still bit away from you guys so you can't really discern his face or anything uh, but he seems quite startled and uh, in a split second he decides to run the other way okay I take uh, I stand up I take flight and I uh, chase. give chase okay I just wanted to invite him for dinner you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he makes his way uh, through the long, uh, tall grass, and Lunch, that's actually. not uh, easy terrain, so you quickly catch up with him, and uh, he even stumbles uh, along the way and uh, falls uh, face first in, uh, on the ground. Okay, so I, I take a good measure of distance, like 20 meters or something, and I land in front of him so that if he gets up, I can see his face. I also follow... Um Sawing, yeah. I also follow sawing at this point, and then staying behind the the the, the purple rope figure. So he's uh, now enclosed by two sides. So uh, oh, you fly out ahead of him, then sawing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, fly okay, out yeah, ahead. Yeah, then that makes sense. Okay, sure. I know he can do some tricks, so I'm I'm trying to keep some distance uh, to be sure. Um, if, it's, if it's the guy. I, yeah. I look over 
over, I look over at Bowen and and say, should we should we follow? Uh, may I put my hand on your shoulder so you can guide me? On my shoulder? Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, sure, but why? I, I because don't I'll, I will uh, take the aerial view. Ah, yes. Bird's eye view. Uh, I've, I've heard about this. Yes, put your hand on my shoulder. And I, I ju just slowly walk over there. I'm not trying to cover the entire distance, but just be closer that if something is happening, then at least we're in r some running distance of the event. Yeah. But... So my eyes go white. My eyes go white as I put my hand on Audrey's shoulder and I uh, walk with confidence behind her and I start looking out of uh, Kiss's eyes. Do, do you mean white or white? White. 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 Okay, yeah. It's creepy. Yeah. Uh, so the, the guy, he doesn't get up, he just keeps uh, lying there. Um, yeah, you're both still a bit away, like you said, 20 meters, which is yeah, like I'm within 60 shooting uh, distance, feet or something. Uh, yeah. yeah, you're within shooting distance, so you approach the, the same distance. Yeah, about 60 feet. 60 feet, yeah, okay. So yeah, you hear him maybe mumbling something to himself, but uh, not really out loud, so you can't uh, understand what he's saying. Can I hear it too? Because maybe I can recognize the voice. Make a perception check. Uh, yes. I had uh, oh, forgot to bring his dice. Okay. No, 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 I didn't. But... Oh, 17. 17 uh, plus perception is 22 total. 22 total. Well, you're fairly sure it's the mumblings of a madman, and the madman you know is uh, Brother David. Okay, so... Which is probably this guy. As I recognize that, I, I shout out, out over to Thomas, be careful, I think it's him. Okay, yeah, I just grab my bow and uh, start notching an arrow and, yeah, just wait until something uh, happens. Uh, Sir Gunther is trailing behind uh, Bowen and uh, Otleaf right now. Okay, so does sure. this mean you leave the, your small encampment uh, abandoned? Uh, I, I don't know what distance has been covered. Uh, um, well, let's say meantime. about same distance as you uh, are away from the guy, so like 60 feet. Okay, then, then Maybe a bit uh, more. for Gunther stays back a bit more that he is still uh, within yeah, walking distance of the camp. Yeah, okay. We, uh, I think Altweef and uh, Bowen are doing that too as well, right? It, uh, sorry, I just missed the, the exact distance, but uh, like we want to be within some running distance, but not fully close distance, right? Yeah, but we are not going uh, to. Uh, he's like uh, he's about one hundred and twenty feet away from the camp. Yes, so yeah, we Thomas walk is about 60. Uh, sixty feet. Yeah, so just near uh, Thomas. Yeah. yeah. Sir Gunther is about thirty feet away from the camp right now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you're in between us uh, and the camp then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So okay. I call. Yeah, if nothing else happens, I just call the guy and, and, and ask him, are you still hunting for my bones and feathers? Uh, when you speak to him, you hear a startled uh, shriek. Uh, he says, no, 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 they, they didn't see me. <laughs> And then he goes, this uh, volume goes down and he uh, starts mumbling again. And then I shout back to Thomas, we, we should try and, uh, and subdue him, but not kill him. He's obviously mad. Okay, let's go for it, says Thomas. And Thomas puts away his uh, bow and arrow. He uh, puts it on his back and... Um, he approaches the figure with caution, um, with his hand on his uh, pommel uh, from his sword. Uh, so, if needs be, he can draw his sword in, uh, and, and, and is ready for action. So, he approaches the figure uh, with caution. 
step by step. Okay, and do we do so quietly or? Uh, yeah, if 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 I can. Well, I can't. <laughs> that, <laughs> that's oh god, why am I so bad at this? That's uh, eleven on stealth. Oh, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Yeah, four, so. yeah okay, but still, I... you're rolling against best perception, and uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Solwing uh, also approaches, but does it at half speed of uh, Thomas, mm. and tries to to uh, to actually play in the game with uh, with, with the madman. So he's slowly approaching, saying, "Where did that guy go? I just saw him a minute ago. Did he disappear? Where did where is he?" And I'm trying to to keep his attention on me. Hey, you hear him uh, snicker a bit, and like he. Like he, uh, yeah, he's clearly uh, satisfied with himself that he's hiding so well. Uh, but Thomas uh, uh, comes closer and closer, and at some point he uh, he's startled by Thomas, and he jumps up in the grass and he he uh, turns towards Thomas and he says, "No, no, no, stay away!" And he immediately begins to chant uh, some kind of uh, spell. Then I tried to throw a dart in his neck. Yeah, and Let's I go to him at with the time. an initiative order for this one. Then. Yeah, perfectly. Oh, oh, I like to roll for initiative. Oh, come on. initiative. oh crap. Come on. Okay. My initiative is eight. Hold on to your horses. Uh, that's an initiative 13 for Gunther. And that's an initiative seven for Thomas. Bowen? And a four for. Uh, it's an initiative 15 for Bowen, and it's a three for. Uh, is that right? Uh, I think it's a three for Kiss. Uh, no, it's a two for Kiss. Hopefully. Four. Oh, wow. You guys suck. We suck. <laughs> How far away am I from the gem uh, bandits? Uh, sorry, the, the acolyte right now. Um, uh, about twenty feet. Twenty feet. Okay. Uh, give me a sec. Oh. And soul wing is about forty feet. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so let me prepare this one. Yeah, Bowen's your turn first. Um, but give me a moment to prepare the initiative Great. order. Uh, the person with the negative initiative modifier goes first, so that's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's always a good sign, right? Uh, yeah. I rolled a natural one for Kiss, so that's. Uh, <laughs> I rolled a natural three. I mean, well, we it, do suck. We we completely it, suck. Yeah, well, <laughs> to be fair, to wasn't be joking. Fair, rolling a but three one... is as is as likely as rolling an eighteen. So, so you can't really blame <laughs> me for it. Well, we can. We can. Uh, Just because. Let's go to this one then. So... Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, Here we go. Yeah. Um... Oh, shit. All right. Wait, my roll 20 was doing something weird. Now it's okay again. It's no. okay again? No, then... I have no idea. I see nothing. Let's turn our... No, yeah, you should see the void. But I'm going to drag you over now. Ooh. Ooh. This one. Ooh. Harrow. So Harrow. much gray. Yeah, it's just a border. You, on stream, they can't see the gray. Uh, let's put him here. Uh, I and can't see anything. No, 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 no. Hold your horses. Oh, okay. There he is. <laughs> okay, uh, if you guys would position yourself uh, on the battlefield. Uh, where am I? Uh, I don't see the map. 
what? You should. People, people can see it yeah, on screen, a stream, so. Yeah, yeah, I see too. I can't drag myself. Or can I? No, no, I can't drag myself either. Oh, yes, I'm there. There you okay, are. Cool. Yeah. Ah, there I am. Uh, so I guess that uh, if oh, I mean me and Bowen are like the f we're far away. Yeah, uh, the other <laughs> side. Yeah, I think. So that's oriented. Like, uh, if I'll place Thomas first. Uh, yeah, go let me drag behind. Thomas, and then you can uh, go uh, relatively okay. from there. Yeah, it's like Thomas is about there. And then I think then. About there. Yeah. I think soul wings. Oh, yeah, yeah that, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so, but, but then I would be off screen somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's the same for Gunther. So, but on the other, uh, uh, yeah. about here. Yeah. <laughs> Suddenly a bird appears. Cool. <laughs> Me hoot. Are, are we that far away? I thought we were. Uh, tra oh, well, no, he went uh, silently, so. Right. Uh, yeah. So, uh, Bowen, it's your uh, turn first. So, um, it's tall grass. Do I even see that he's starting to cast a spell? Because I have been paying attention, but. Uh. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. Okay. So clearly does discern he have his cover? movements. I see the cover or not? Falling off the screen now. Is that possible? Uh, wait. Um, no, no, that's not the. He's, yeah. So yeah, half cover would actually be uh, realistic here. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. So sorry about that. Um, there we go. I stop looking through uh, Kiss's eyes, and I. I'm, I'm not feeling it this time. I, I'm not going to wait to see if he has good intentions or anything i i'm i'm pretty fed up and i'm going to cast create bonfire off i after i walk about 30 feet uh would that place me on the on the map yeah let's say if it, yeah that's okay and there in the I corner think it does, doesn't really add up but that's okay okay so and i cast uh, create bonfire on david Okay. Uh, which uh, has to, he has to make a um, uh, dexterity saving throw. Which he will. Uh, get his stats for a second. Wow. That's a natural one. Ah, uh, well, uh, that, that feels. And they're all five fire damage. Five fire damage. And I fire damage. And. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. He's now burning. Yeah. See the glow around this uh, thingy? That's so cool. Sure. Thingy. Okay. It's thingy. There we go again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and I say something like, ah, and that's it. Yeah, he responds with an ah, and he uh, he jumps uh, out of the uh, fire away from uh, Thomas, but closer to uh, Solwing, and he uh, yeah he lets go of a spell, um, and a pillar of this uh, uh, yeah blackish bluish energy uh, forms uh, at your feet, Thomas, and shoots upward and uh, engulfs you in this blackish bluish uh, flames. So oh, no, you have to make a saving throw. Dexterity. Dexterity. Yep. Okay. Oh, that's a natural twenty. Okay. Oh yeah. That's uh, a success. So natural one and a natural twenty. That's uh, nice. Yeah. So you dodge it. Will be no, no problem at all. Um, and then Broke patient. It's uh, Gunther's turn. Okay. Um, Gunther is. Um, yeah, Gunther is walking a bit forward, still cautious, and he stands behind Bowen at this point. Okay. And that's it. Solving? 
yeah, after he releases that spell, I am a little bit angry that he attacked my teammate. So I'm uh, I'm not going to throw a dart because it's too late anyway. I'm going I'm going I'm still going to try to take him down without uh, killing him. So I'm going to do try to do non-lethal damage uh, by hitting him in the head. But I think that is that means that I will have this disadvantage on my attack rolls, right? Uh, yeah, let's go with that. Sure, if there's official rules about this. Well, well Shelch, I, do you want to discuss it? Because there is an official rule, so I yeah, can okay. mention it yeah, if you yeah, want. Sure, go ahead. So the thing is, you do normal damage anyway, and when you drop uh, someone to zero hit points, you can decide to do it non-lethal, uh, which is the way 5th edition does it. Uh, so there's no real non lethal so damage. So then he's immediately can... stable when, when he's yeah. unconscious. Yep. Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah, okay, fine. But uh, there's no disadvantage or anything. Uh, you can just decide. No, oh, because you're just hitting, and then when he drops to zero, it's uh, you decide. Okay, sure. Yeah. So go ahead, uh, like... Solving. You can just attack normally. Okay, but then I will use my javelin and pretend uh, in my head that uh, I won't use the point, but the back end of it. Okay. We'll all do that then. Pretend that is. <laughs> did he just pretend to not use the armor class? Uh, the pointy uh, part? <laughs> Sorry. I hit an armor class of 16. 16 is a hit. Then I do 7 damage in total. Okay, yeah. Uh, he's still standing. Yeah, and I think he focuses it, his attention on me again, and this time I won't uh, hit him another time, but I will use some of my key power for patient defense. So I'm really checking him out and trying to to uh, read his moves to not be hit by him. Yeah, that means uh, uh, he, he has disadvantage, right? You take the dodge action as a bonus action. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Um, yeah, so like, like I said, he, he's pretty... Uh, he took two large hits and he's still standing and something he noticed last time as well that he seems far more resilient than he uh, than he actually appears which is strange to say the least in any case uh, let's go to Thomas okay do I also notice that he takes an unusual unusual amount of hits mm, yeah no, you're not that close by but yeah, okay. still, you, for a, a few seconds ago, he was burning, and he took a large hit from uh, Solwain just now. A normal, okay. uh, a normal priest would have gone down. Like a, I don't trust it. I'll take out my bow and arrow, and I'll just shoot uh, at the bastard. And uh, I'm, I'm not doing the non-lethal shit. So if uh, <laughs> if I hit him, I hit him. Sure. Yeah. Uh, that's oh plus seven. That's a twenty versus uh, armor class. Yeah, that's it. Okay, and that's one d eight. So that's uh, nine piercing damage and and wow okay. and oh here we go another six piercing damage. So it's 15 damage. You just can just add the, yeah. uh, wow. and give me the total. Where did that, where did that extra six damage come from? <laughs> yeah, Your knight. Yeah. From the dice, <laughs> Michelle. From the um, dice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this uh, arrow um, hits him straight in his throat. And uh, he starts uh, gurgling as he uh, falls onto his knees. Um, but, well, he can't cast spells. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, he's actually dying, and uh, Solwing is close by and he sees what happens to him because uh, well, as soon as he falls to his knees, he disappears uh, in the tall grass for you guys. Um, but Solwing's right next to him and he sees uh, the guy grasping at his throat and gurgling, uh, and there's blood streaming uh, from the wound. Uh, but what's even weirder is that. Um, from beneath his uh, hood, because he's wearing his hood, uh, you can see his uh, yeah, flash uh, cascading out. 
like it's uh, yeah it's re really really gross um, his uh, it's, it's like his jaw is falling down and ripping open and uh, becoming larger and larger and his flesh is uh, cascading in like like uh, candle uh, wax uh, yeah. f to the ground and there's this pool of flesh starting to form around him uh, his eyes uh, droop from his sockets, and uh, but there's this trail of flesh that follows his eyes, and suddenly they uh, uh, grow upwards. And um, as the eyes open, uh, they're not really eyes, but two mouths, uh, which uh, yeah, <laughs> start to uh, gnash at you, and uh, his his rope rips apart, uh, his his clothes, everything's uh, soon absorbed in this fleshy uh, blob that uh, Wait. appears into existence. Is this the moment where you unzip your Roger suit and reveal yourself to be Jasper? <laughs> <laughs> No. Okay. No. <laughs> oh, that that sounds. That's uh, gross, weird. man. It's uh, <laughs> really gross. I'm not done. Uh, four tentacles spawn of grow upwards from the oh. from the bottom of his body, uh, and along the tentacles are these uh, small mouths that uh, start rapidly uh, gnashing with sharp teeth, and the tentacles end in a yeah, slightly larger larger uh, mouth, and they start to snap uh, towards uh, Solwing and uh, wildly uh, around themselves. Um, yeah. So that's uh, I have an uh, image of that because our uh, let me see where it is. So if I turn off this one, let me turn off the battle map for a second. Kind of looks like this now. For the, uh, I'm not sure, Jin, can you see the stream? Ooh, no. no uh, but oh I my have... God, Eric, did you make this? What happened to my twelve bunnies, man? <laughs> <laughs> that oh, looks man. really that looks really disgusting and cool. Yeah, it looks really oh, that's disgusting. Awesome, that's uh, yeah, that's kind of what uh, we're going for here. Oh, oh Eric, that's really I mean, really, really cool. It's really well made. Uh, awesome. Uh, yeah. I, I hope I won't regret this artwork now. <laughs> <laughs> this art might kill you. <laughs> so let's get rid of this one. How did you hide this commission for him? Was like, hey Eric, for my other campaign, the Herald of Gold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah, he just explained to me I have a fetish about tentacle monsters and I want you to draw something for me. Yeah. me like yeah. one of your French girls and I just made this. And... <laughs> Okay, guys, it's getting weird. <laughs> yeah, when you're doing it, it's all wrong. Uh, <laughs> it is... Uh, oh, man. It's, it's okay. large. <laughs> it's large. So there it's we go. Yeah. Yeah. No, guys. Okay, wow. I'm glad I'm not standing there. <laughs> Yeah, the the pool of flesh uh, extends to uh, yeah well, well beyond your uh, feet, uh, Solwing, and um, yeah, that, that it's it's very sticky standing in this uh, pool of flesh. But I can I can move away from it before it reaches me. Well, it's not or... your turn, so you can't move. But uh, we'll see when we get there. Okay. Okay, can I still make my move in my turn? Yeah, you have a move action left. Yeah. <laughs> or um, move. I'm I'm doing this. Okay. <laughs> it's a bravery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thomas is uh, looking very hesitant right now. <laughs> uh, these uh, these mouths, and he has a lot of them. Uh, all are speaking like whispering stuff and uh, you can't really understand what they're saying because it turns into one cacophony of uh, noise and it's kind of maddening to even stand close to it, uh, Solving. Old Leaf, it's your turn. Wow. Uh, uh, 
Uh, I think I stand over here. Is that 30 feet? One, yeah, two, sure. Three, five, six. It's not, but okay. If I'm here then. Ah, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I'm not going to be... Uh... Can you make the map a little bit bigger so we can stand farther away from it? <laughs> nope. <laughs> what the hell is this? And I I just uh, point at, at the creature and I say, curse is upon you! And I uh, use Hexblade's curse uh, as a bonus action. <laughs> Sorry. So... Um, he has to be in 30 feet, cursed for one minute. Uh, it ends early if he dies. I gain a plus two bonus to damage rolls on the cursed uh, target. Um, uh, and I score a critical hit on 19 or 20. And if he dies, I regain two hit points. So there's that. And then I, uh, again, uh, um, after cursing him, I hold up my hand and this uh, purple black energy gathers around it and it points toward him again and cast uh, Eldritch Blast. Nice. I, re I really feel the need to say Eldritch Blast as a sort of Street Fighter <laughs> move every time I cast no, it. But... This isn't a Japanese anime. No. But, but uh, you're, you're the... allowed to do that. That's fine. Yes, yes. Really want yes. To. Please. <laughs> no, I think it's. I don't think it's something that Oddleaf would do. It's something oh. that I would do. <laughs> also, feel free to yell out "sneak attack" or something like that. Sneak <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> attack. Okay, so I uh, I hit him for uh, uh, twenty. Oh, armor class twenty. Yeah, I hit. Yeah. 20. Okay. Wow. You have twenty damage for a second there. Uh, twenty is uh, so, is it? All right, uh, and then I do. Wow, I'm really rolling really well on these Eldritch Blast hits because that's a 10 again. Uh, plus two for the extra damage of Hexblade's Curse is 12 damage. That's nice, man. Yeah, uh, yeah as soon as your uh, blast connects uh, with the creature, Aberration, um, you hear these drums inside your head. Okay. And you can almost hear him, the, the creature that is whispering at you. Like with all his okay. mouths. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not listening. <laughs> uh, is that your turn? Um, yeah, that was my turn. Move, bonus action, action. Then next. we go to the fan favorite, Kiss. Oh. Uh, Kiss gets out of there <laughs> and lands on uh, uh, Thomas's shoulder because uh, Kiss knows that uh, uh, he might uh, need aid. Uh, Kiss needs to make a saving throw, though. Wisdom. Oh, crap. Uh oh. Ooh. Well, I think. Uh, I hope he will be okay because uh, that is a nineteen total. Okay, eighteen yeah. plus one. The kiss gets away safely. Okay. Uh, well, I place him on Thomas right now, so but, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. I'll uh, I can move. And uh, he, he just uh, gets on his shoulder and. Uh, Hides behind his uh, head, somewhat. Okay. He gets in there. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Then uh, it's Bone's turn. Bone takes a look at this creature and his mouth really drops, and uh, he mutters a bit under his breath, uh, probably a prayer to Aiden. Welcome and to the world. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, well, if this is the real world, then uh, I really don't know what I've been living in. Um, and he takes a few steps, but is really uh, out of it for, yeah, for just now and doesn't know what to do. So that's his uh, full term. Right. 
Uh, then it's its turn. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. Yeah. Uh, so Solwing. Um, you cannot see me. I'm very well hidden. No kidding. <laughs> no, you're not. Uh, um, <laughs> he uh, lashes out with one of those uh, tentacles towards you. Patient defense. Oh, when he hits an arm class of oh, patient defense. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, so you dodge a critical hit there uh, with that, but uh, he still hits an arm class of twenty-four. That's mm. quite uh, good, great. Yes. Yeah. No. Right. Uh, so yeah, that's yeah. Uh, he does uh, six uh, uh, bludgeoning damage with that, but oh, his uh, tentacle wraps around you, and all those mouths uh, cling into your flesh, and you're grappled. Um, Automatically. Yes. Uh, you try to escape and you turn though, but uh, and that's not all. Because now that he oh, has you. Not, I'm happy that that's not all. Uh, no, he starts to move towards uh, the rest and he drags you along. Uh, the others are still out of reach. Um, which means you Is can. It? You must make a constitution saving throw, solving. Why? Why not? Why not? <laughs> Man. Uh, the reason why is because those teeth are really uh, clawing into you, and there's you yeah, there's stuff coming off those teeth, which doesn't I'm seem really, healthy. I'm 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 really uh, curious to see if if I taste well because I think that the, my Constitution saving throw would be like six, so that won't be enough. No, it's not that. Yeah, you're. Uh, it's not that he takes a bite out of you, but he poisons you. He injects something through his teeth into your uh, bloodstreams, uh, so you're poisoned, and uh, which also means you're paralyzed, and you can't. Uh, yeah. Next time I'm drawing a bunny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I asked for, and uh, you came up with this, so I thought, hey, <laughs> okay, I'll just go with it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, this really came as some surprise, I must say. <laughs> oh, really? You didn't expect this? Very well done. Very well done. <laughs> I did not expect, expect a mouse. It all makes sense, though. Right. I mean, yeah. Can't tell you why, but it does make sense. But Sure. Sure, yeah. <laughs> you don't have to believe me. It's just, just survive. That's uh, enough. Okay. Uh, uh, but that's his turn. Let's go to Gunther. And see what he's up okay, to. Okay, Gunther is just standing aghast and uh, hanging back. Um, he um, hangs back uh, at Thomas's back, and then uh, that's his turn. Okay. Uh, okay, then uh, Solwing. He does mutter a word of encouragement. Uh, Fly away, Solwing! I'm paralyzed. <laughs> yeah, you're paralyzed, <laughs> but that doesn't mean. <laughs> Uh, you, that, that means you can't uh, move or speak, uh, and you automatically fail strength and dexterity saving throws. And attack rolls have advantage against you, and any attack that hits is a critical hit. But it doesn't mean you don't have uh, the ability to make an ability check, because it says nothing about that. And trying to come loose out of grapple is an ability check. It seems weird to but me, like, but it can, is. Can I, can I take an action? Can I not try to escape, but just try to to kill it? Because no, I, you, I think uh, it's too strong anyway. So I might as well just try to to take it out. You are incapacitated, though, so you can't take any uh, actions or reactions. Yeah. And and uh, that's yeah, why getting yourself in, yeah yeah so, it, so it makes sense yeah yeah you're incapacitated so yeah. you can't uh, get loose. No, so I don't do anything because I'm paralyzed. Yeah. So that was my turn. Nice. Wow. Okay. Thomas. I'm next, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's uh, send this uh, bird back. I have a feeling that charm person won't work on anymore on this person. Person. 
Maybe you could charm me to not be paralyzed. <laughs> yeah, let's try that. Um, I'll oh, move it, over it, here. Uh, I've got. So, sorry. Um, you can make a saving throw. Oh, you repeat the saving throw at the end of your turn. Ah, that's nice. Let's do that. That's a Constitution save. Huh? That's like my. Yeah, that's save. Constitution. Yeah, yeah. But it's not seven. It's not enough. No. Th Thomas moves over there and he grabs his bow again and he wants to make a cold shot to the arm where uh, Sol that's uh, that's holding Solwing. I want to try to um, yeah to to uh, loosen the grip on Solwing. So uh, can I do that? With an arrow. With arrow? Yeah, sure. With this yeah, with yeah. Okay. Oh, come on, don't feel me now. Ooh, the lowest one is point. 18 versus armor class. Wow. Wow, that's it. Okay. Uh, yeah, the, I'm gonna let you deal damage to the tentacle, but uh, mm -hmm. this will... I will subtract it from its total, but it will be less than the damage you deal. But it will damage oh, the tentacle fully. And see yeah, if it's matter. enough to break the hold. Ah, okay. It's a low hit, but uh, that's uh, five... Uh, yeah, that's five piercing damage in total with two dice. So I rolled two ones. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, that's not enough, I'm afraid. Yeah. Can I um, drop my bow and grab my shield as a um, uh, bonus action and then charge the thing? You, you can do that, but not as a bonus action. So you can drop your bow and then draw mm -hmm. your shield. Yeah. <clears throat> that's that's okay. You can do that in a turn. Okay, and uh, I can finish my movement, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, then I grab my shield just to uh, up the armor class a bit, and then I charge at the thing. I say, guys, stay back! Cast anything at it! And I stand uh, yeah, between the party and... Uh, yeah, you walk into the that ball of flesh on the, on the floor, and you feel it sticking to yeah. your uh, boots. Yeah, but I'm trying to block the monster uh, at this point. Um, so do does it, does it release soul wing at all? No, 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 no. damage wasn't enough. No. You you uh, the the tentacle takes a glancing hit uh, essentially, mm -hmm. but you don't shoot through it. Okay, you don't break it apart. Yeah, I just try to stand my ground, and I'll stand uh, right in front of the creature. Yeah, sure. Alright, um, let's see. Yeah, okay. Um, then it's Old Leaf's turn. Alright, I'm just going to book it 30 feet in the other direction. I'm getting the hell away from that thing. Um, <clears throat> but when I feel I'm sort of in a uh, at a safe distance from the tentacles, I turn around and I say, "Double curse you!" Uh, and as a bonus action, cast hex on uh, on the creature. Um, so now I deal an extra one d six necrotic damage, uh, and I also uh, choose one ability. Uh, and the target has disadvantage on ability checks made with the chosen ability. And I guess that strength might be a thing for the grapple right so if we want to so mm -hmm. i'm choosing strength okay um let's see um yeah yeah okay so and, and then <clears throat> regain hit points all right cool so then uh, i still have an action so again purple black energy uh, gathers around my hand Point my fingers and shoot an Eldritch Blast. Ooh, which now hits an armor class of 12. Let's miss. Yep. So the shot goes wide. Yeah. Or it's just absorbed in one of the many folds of flesh that keep streaming down from him. Uh... It's, it's kind of like a sure. flash fountain, like it, it starts yeah, on yeah, top of yeah, his head and then it, it cascades yep, down sure. and then bubbles up again mm -hmm. and down, yeah. You, ha you already had me with wax candle that sort of... <laughs> 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 I, I just want to make sure you're all uh, grossed out now. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, yeah okay, I get then. it. 
<laughs> you're doing it. You're doing it. Yeah. Uh, okay. So then it's uh, Kiss. Her turn. His turn. His turn. His turn. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, just to, uh, for the narrative, Bowen whispers to uh, Kiss. Uh, I can I can get him. Yeah. Um, um, get to sewing. Get to sewing. And uh, Kiss flies to. Uh, oh wait. Boom. 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 Uh, moves to sewing and uh, uh, creeps into one uh, into the fold of his cloak. Um, uh, trying to hide a bit. Can I make a stealth check for? Uh, Nah, it doesn't seem logical. The creature is aware of its surroundings. It has no eyes, so it perceives in another way. I don't... Yeah, okay. Kiss was already there on the battlefield, and... Uh, I think it's okay. an action, and you broke... Uh, yeah, just, just roll. I'll see what I'll do with it later. Yeah, that's okay. So that's uh, uh, 12. 12, okay. Uh, but he's on a soul wing right now. Uh, yeah. So that's what uh, Kiss does. Yeah. Okay. Cuddling up to him. Oh. Yeah. He really needs it right now. Yes, he does. And um, Bowen. Yeah, so Bowen uh, really is starting to think, but when this is a normal day, Outside of Greenhold Cloister, I might be. Uh, I'm, I certainly must start to make the best of every situation because otherwise I won't survive a week. Uh, <laughs> and um, uh, he um, concentrates, uh, uh, gathers radiant energy, and fires it at uh, the the big. Uh, creature. Uh, <laughs> so there goes uh, the guiding bolt, which uh, is a total of AC fifteen. Uh, fifteen is a uh, hit. Okay. <laughs> I was wondering if it would hit, but uh, that's an eleven plus four, by the way. Uh, so that's eight. That's oh, that's uh, seventeen radiant damage. Seventeen. So. Wow. Okay, that's uh, yeah. nice. And uh, three fours and a five. So, uh, and the next attack. Yeah. Uh, and the next, uh, he, so he's lit out, and uh, the next attack against him has uh, advantage. Nice. Uh, and I say, Aiden, guide me, uh, because all this dark stuff is happening around me. That was my turn, and I stay where I was. Okay. Uh, then it's uh, its turn again. Oh, crap. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So what he does is he uh, creeps a bit closer to uh, Bowen. Well, he lashes out against Thomas with one tentacle. And he hits an armor class of 13. No, that's a miss. That's oh, a miss. Thomas defends himself with a shield. And, uh, not today, fiend. And with another tentacle, he lashes out at Bowen. Oh, he has reach. Yes, he does. And that's uh, 10. Armor class. You're muted. That's why you're muted. Yeah. He hits. With a 10? Yes. <laughs> I've got an armor class of a 9, to be exact. What? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it takes 7 bludgeoning damage, and you're grappled. No! <laughs> Welcome to the party! <laughs> Ain't no point like a tentacle party. Oh wow! <laughs> wow! 
Yeah, 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 yeah. So you're not wearing armor then? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I could have defended myself, but I don't think I would have done that. Well, I know I wouldn't have done that. So, uh, yeah. Cool, 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 cool. cool. Yeah, and cool, cool, cool. Uh, because uh, a lot of mouths are chewing uh, at solving, he takes another six damage. Uh, <sighs> Okay, that's where uh, this where we wipe them because <laughs> well, that's uh, that that's certainly a possibility. Yes. Well, no, I don't think so because I think you made enough room to actually run away if it's. Oh, yeah. I'm booking it as. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep cursing <laughs> him from a distance, but that's it. It's not yeah. Outreach Blast has a range of 120 feet, and I intend to use that. <laughs> <laughs> Brave Sir Robin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Hey, I'm Old Leaf. I'm just the playwright uh, <laughs> Ravenwing. So, Gunther, how about you? Yeah, Gunther is uh, watching the spectacle from a distance, and he uh, just shouts uh, words of encouragement. Remember your training, boy! And, um, yeah, that's about it. Okay. Uh, Soul Wing? <laughs> the end of your Still turn, you can attempt uh, saving throw again. Ooh, that might be good. 19 plus 2 is 21. Okay, then you're no longer paralyzed. Or poisoned. But this was the end of my turn, right? Yeah. So, so next turn you can try to... Uh, he's still grappled, yeah. He can try to wrestle himself free. Okay. Or and just I'm attack. Not... That's also yeah, fine. Uh, Thomas. Yeah. Um, Thomas you well... have to make two saving throws. Uh, the first one is... Uh, you see, strength saving throw. That's a one. Oh, sorry, twenty-two. Twenty-two. Okay, so the 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 pool of flesh on the floor has no effect on uh, on you uh, this turn. Okay. And the second saving throw I want to one? from you is a wisdom saving throw. I uh, yeah, that's a bit worse. That's eight. Just a bit. Okay. Uh, let me see. Yeah. So, um, you're standing really close to the creature, and uh, the whispers mm -hmm. uh, yeah, start to take shape in your head, I guess. Like, they're actually telling you something, urging you to do something, and in uh, yeah, a fit of rage, you attack the creature. I attack the creature? Yeah, because he's the nearest. Everyone, uh, you perceive everyone as hostile for a moment, and uh, because yeah, they wanna take stuff away from you, and they wanna hamper you in your r ascension to greatness. And well, that's true most of the time, so I can get into that. Um, yeah, but they're actively okay, doing can it. I... They're all yeah. out to get you. Can I make this with? With my skills, or is this uh, just a mindless rage? No, you just attack to uh, to the best of your abilities. Okay, then I will uh, yeah, try to put him out of his misery. Um, you will not get my stuff! I scream, and I grab my rapier, and I start hacking and slashing uh, into the creature. I hope, because that's a eight against armor class. Uh, that's a miss. Oh, wow. Didn't Eight. That. What? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was taken aback by a surprise there. Um, sure. Then Otleaf. Okay. Um, I see um, Thomas just attacking uh, the creature. Um, and I yell out to him. Thomas. Uh, gather your courage, gather your strength, stay vigilant. Your, <clears throat> um, oh man, I, I just had it figured out and I lo completely lost it. Anyway, I'm uh, uh, giving you bardic inspiration. 
uh, for your next. Uh... Oh wow! So that's a D four, right? Yeah. Awesome. I can that's something to do with speak. how grave I'm. I'm mentioning uh, very poetically how you just stepped up towards this creature, holding your shield uh, uh, when you walked up to it the first time. Okay, so I do that. Then I book it another thirty feet uh, 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 the other other direction, uh, and uh, shoot at the creature, which now hits an armor class. Jesus, uh, of thirteen. Oh, uh, man, thirteen okay. is a miss. We yeah. forgot the guiding bolt effect uh, for. Uh, oh yeah, the attack uh, by Thomas. Oh. Hmm. Uh, you yeah, want to sure. make use of that then, Old Leaf? Uh, I would, still, yes, uh, very much, roll. please. Can I? That's mighty kind. Uh, look, yeah, that's much better. That's a 16. That's it. All right. Uh, that, I, keep, you, I keep rolling the... I, I wish there was a camera, but it's the icon. It's the, it's a 10. I keep rolling 10s for damage. So that's 12 plus an extra D6 of necrotic damage. Uh, it's 14, uh, 16 damage in total. Nice. It's really nice. I just looked it up. Uh, Bardic Inspiration is a D6, not a D4. Yeah, yeah. I was just I, when you said it, I was thinking about it. Like, it shouldn't it be a D6? But I also know that it increases uh, with levels. Mm -hmm. So uh, I th assumed that it was maybe at a later stage. But no, it D6 is uh, correct. In any case, uh, you really seem to be hurting the creature. Uh, like his flesh is drooping off and weird flaps to the side. And you see some uh, blood oozing from uh, beneath the folds of his flesh. And uh, yeah, it's clearly not feeling that great but he's not down yet not by a long shot so somebody somebody grapple it for interrogation kiss. <laughs> <laughs> do that. he has a lot to say though <laughs> yeah i'm not listening la 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 uh kiss uh yeah the same goes for kiss make saving throw wisdom Oh crap! <laughs> that's going to be <laughs> okay. Uh, that's a, that's a thirteen. A Twelve 13. plus one. Yeah, okay, okay, succeeds. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> so lucky. Yeah. Okay, uh, and then it's Kiss's turn, right? Yeah, yeah. So Kiss. Uh, the uh, center was made uh, at the start of the turn. So. Yeah, yeah. So uh, the Kiss. Um, uh, he grabs on to uh, the, the the feathers of uh, Soul Wings uh, uh, form uh, as far as he can reach them, um, and uh, if not, he just uh, takes uh, to the jacket or something and um, stays there, hidden under the cloak. Okay. And then it's Bowen's turn. And uh, yeah, you're you're also close enough for the whispers to uh, have some effect on you. Uh, you hear the words seem aimed at you, like all the mouths are speaking at you. They're calling you a liar, and uh, the it's like his big mouth says, uh, "I know what you are. You are like me. You can't hide. I see you, liar." Make safe and throw. Uh, that's, uh, uh, what kind of, uh, wisdom? Wisdom, yeah. Uh, that's uh, 11 plus 4, so 15. 15 succeeds. So, so can I say something back? Sure, it's your turn. Honesty is my staple. That's it. Okay. Oh, and that's my turn. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, one of the mouths whispers, uh, "See, you even lie to yourself." I just look confused. Yeah. Um, so, okay, I'm hurt pretty bad, but I think sewing is hurt as. I, even I, I look like crap. 
<laughs> yeah. So this is why I didn't protect myself. I'm now going to cure you. Uh, cast cure wounds on the uh, on the uh, soul wing. Yeah, through kiss, awesome. right? Through kiss, yes. So look up. I think this will be a lifesaver. Or now. I cure him for 13 hit points. Wow. Boom. That's, uh... Thank you so very, very much. That, that's maximum. Yeah, that, that's uh, full health for me. Thank you. Hmm. So, you um, like so and then uh, I stay uh, grappled because I, I used uh, my action to uh, do that. Uh, and I'm just uh, praying like mad <laughs> for the rest of my turn. That's that was my turn. Yeah. Okay, and uh, then it's my turn. Uh, yeah. So he has both of you grappled, uh, but he has still has the tentacle free to uh, lash at uh, Thomas, which he does with a ten for his arm class. Yeah, that's a miss. I'm sorry, man. That's a miss. Don't be sorry. Be happy. And uh, yeah, the two guys that are uh, grappled have to make a constitution saving throw. Oh uh, no. So back to being paralyzed. Ready? Yeah. Yeah, six. Total. Yeah. 17 plus one, 18. Okay, so you're not paralyzed, but Solwing is again. Uh, it doesn't do any damage now. That comes when you stay paralyzed for a run. So that's my turn. It's Gunther's turn now. Okay, yeah, Gunther is just shouting wildly. Thomas, remember, remember your training. He moves up a bit uh, around here, uh, but he doesn't involve himself in combat. Okay. Just hoping he had excellent training because. <laughs> um, I can imagine him a bit like uh, uh, Sir Anthony Hopkins uh, in the Zorro movie, uh, like yelling at uh, Antonio Banderas when he's mm. like trying to do all sorts of moves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a bit like that. Solving. Want to try that save again? Still paralyzed. Seven. <laughs> well, you're on, really man. giving Gunther a run of his for his money in terms of usefulness. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. That was, that was mean. That was mean. <laughs> uh, Thomas. Uh, make yeah. a, a saving throw. Wisdom. Uh, and uh, strength. Wisdom saving throw and strength. Okay, so first the strength saving throw. That's, ooh, that's not that good. That's uh, nine. You do have inspiration still, right? Oh, yeah. So there's nine for the saving throw. And I add to that Can five, you... so that's 14. Okay, uh, then you succeed. Okay, and then the wisdom saving throw. I presume it's wisdom, right? Yeah. That's, That's a natural like. 20. You also Ooh. succeed. Yes. Awesome. Okay, uh, so um, I, I both succeed, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I'm snapping out of this rage and I'm seeing very clearly right now what's going on around me. Um, I yeah. duck beneath the tentacle and then dash forward uh, and then try to um, uh, slash at the tentacle that's holding Soul Wing right now. Okay. Okay, so that's uh, an 11 versus armor class. 11 is a miss. Ah, damn it. Well, my intentions are well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so a soul wing. We should yeah. the day. <laughs> <laughs> intentions. Um, Alt leaf. Yeah. Um, I think I can still go another 30 feet. <laughs> but, yeah, that, then you no, are exactly no, 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 one twenty. No no. Um... no, no, no. I'm not going any further. I something is holding me back from completely running away because I still might still need to uh, 
uh, do some other stuff. But um, uh, again, arm up in the air, black, purple energy gathers, points towards the creature. Uh, and that's a uh, armor class 15. That's it. Oh, that went off the table. Uh, that's 8 plus 2 is 10, uh, plus a 6 on the d6 is uh, again 16 uh, damage. Nice. Do you want uh, the breakdown of what's next? No, no, damage, damage type then, don't, okay. don't, don't really matter. Or at least okay. not the damage type you were doing. Okay. My damage type matter. Which one is that? Radiant. The Radiant? No. The... So I'm, I'm doing Force and uh, Necrotic. Yeah. I know. Uh, then it's Kiss's turn again. Yeah. So Kiss just stays there. Um, although Bowen whispers, I've got nothing left. Just keep yourself safe. Wow. But, uh, <laughs> apparently, uh, uh, the safest place he can think of is uh, between tentacles under the cloak of this uh, other uh, friend. Right. Sounds dramatic. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to suggest we take a short break now. Five minutes. Okay. Oh, no, really? <laughs> yeah, sorry, otherwise, yeah, it's, it's the time. Yeah, so it's let's, let's take a break and we'll be back in about five minutes. So see you soon. <laughs> oh, and we're back with the wrong screen, it seems. So let's just push this button. There we are. That was the quickest five minutes of my life. <laughs> <laughs> So, Regards ready for the next round? Nope. Well, ding, 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 can, we, ding, can you ding, ever be ready? Nope. I don't know, but Not it's your ready. turn, so... Oh, so I'm ready. Yeah, okay. okay. Let, let's Wisdom call it a draw. Uh, yeah, Wisdom <laughs> safe. Liar. Uh, that's uh, uh, 12. 12. Uh, that's... Uh, debatable. Yeah, that's a a failure. Well, oh, you said it was debatable, so let's debate. No, <laughs> I checked with my sources, and uh, oh, okay, <laughs> it says here that's a failure. Oh man, stat yeah. block says no. Um, I'm yeah, so you fail. Uh, mm -hmm. He calls you uh, a liar, and um. He says, uh, uh, someone will die because of your words. And that sends you off into a fit of rage. And you have to attack the nearest creature, which is still that creature, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah it yeah, is. It is. Frying pan, man. Take out you, the uh, You don't pan. have to melee attack him or anything, but you can use spells or... Uh, Stuff like that, but... Oh, wow. Create a bonfire! <laughs> <laughs> I'll make it exciting, same think... right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, let's put it here. So, that's where I'm going to... Um, let me look. Uh, yeah, that's an 11. That fails because the saving throw you needed was a 12. Nice. Very nice. So, Very nice. so that's a 7 fire damage. Wow. 7. Nice. So he's cooking and is, smelling. Is and... it a d8? Yeah. Oh, I thought d6 for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, wait, uh, am I doing it wrong? No, I'm not doing it wrong, right? I believe you. It's not... It's a D8. It's a D8. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Um, but I have never rolled a seven before, so that, <laughs> that's <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so he, he, he's uh, burning to a crisp, but that was my action, and I'm still 
Uh, well, no, that, that grappled, was all right? you can do. You don't. You, you're not going to move. Oh, uh, okay. That's unless okay. you want to move yeah. closer to him. That's allowed. Mm, let me think about that. No, no, I don't <laughs> want that. <laughs> all right. Uh, then it's his turn again. Uh, so. Yeah, the three of you. Yeah, uh, my soul being paralyzed, right? Then uh, Thomas and uh, Bowen need to make a wisdom saving throw. Wow, oh, that's so killing. It's his turn, isn't it? Uh, no, no, Bowen's wait, turn? no. It's, uh, sorry, it's at the start of your own turns. Of, uh, yeah, it is. Oh, sorry. Um, thank God. Yeah, I just took a break. I'm still confused. So uh, no, he's gonna uh, move towards uh, Bowen and leave the fire behind. Uh, he wasn't grappling you, right, uh, Thomas? No, no, I'm still free. Uh, and then uh, he just drops, uh, he, uh, he leaves my reach right now. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, then... Wait. The, yeah, then he does... Uh, yeah. He leaves your reach. He's not that smart. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, I will make an attack roll then. Uh, that's 18 versus armor class. That's it. Ah, my first hit. Thank you. Okay, so um, let's do some damage. Yeah, you already had a kill this evening, so. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Uh, debatable. Oh, wow, that's uh, 11 piercing damage. 11, wow, okay. So I uh, humor. reach out with my rapier fox and I uh, stab him in the back. All right. Nice. Um... <clears throat> He still he lashes at you though with the tentacle in his rear, and he rolls an arm class of twenty three. Yeah, that's a hit. He takes seven bludgeoning damage, and you're grappled. Okay, so seven bludgeoning, and. Be because he has the other two grappled as well. Uh, let me see. Uh, Solving, you were paralyzed, right? Yes. So you take uh, five uh, piercing damage. And Bowen has to make a saving throw, and Thomas has to make a saving throw. Constitution. Okay, what kind of saving throw? Constitution. Constitution. It's official that Kiss just saved my life now. Oh, crap. That's a one. Sorry. Oh, crap. Then you're also paralyzed. Thank you. Welcome to the club, man. Uh, six. Sorry? Roll the six. You roll a six, then you're also paralyzed. Welcome to the club, man. Old leave, save us. <laughs> <laughs> or Gunther. Gunther is also useful. Yeah, Gunther, Gunther or I will fix it. Yeah, it's Gunther's turn, so let's see what he does. Or Kiss. We also yeah. still. <laughs> Gunther sees this all happen uh, before his eyes and um, he uh, shouts at the creature Hey, you ugly beast! And he grabs a rock and he throws it at the creature uh, for none damage. But he tries to hit it. That's uh, an improvised weapon. That's a sixteen to hit. That's it. That's nice. Okay. And he uh, shouts, yeah, madly at the creature. I'll, I'll give you one damage for that. Okay. He shouts. Uh, How one do you damage matters. Leave, leave those kids. <laughs> leave those kids alone. <laughs> Come after me if you want a real fight. That's okay. Nice. Why are are all of our fights so terrible? I don't know. It's like you never did indeed before. It's a bunch of noobs. Why are all you guys so terrible? Yeah. Mine so yeah, hey, I have nine all leave MVP. Yeah. Sorry? Nine uh, in total. Okay. <laughs> Still That's paralyzed. failure. Yeah. Thomas. Uh, okay. Want to see if you can do better? 
Of course I can. Let's go. <laughs> Count. Otleaf. Still running away? Yes. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm standing. Uh, I'm, I'm keeping. Uh, I'm keeping tight in the spot where I am, um, which is about ninety feet away, I guess. 60, 60 to ninety feet away now. Yeah. Uh, just uh, gonna throw another Eldritch blast at it. Seems to be working so uh, far. Yeah, uh, AC of 16. 16 is a hit. Damn those tens on those Eldritch Blasts. I, I mean... It's, I call shenanigans. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to use another die. I have no, another die I, I wouldn't die. But I keep, using, <laughs> no, I keep using these. Okay, so that's 10 plus 2 is 12. Plus the D6 uh, for Hex is a 3. Uh, is 15 damage. Okay. Yeah. Eldritch Blast! Eldritch Blast strikes the creature and uh, yeah, it somehow seems to uh, interrupt his uh, viscosity and he yeah. just blobs, uh, he just falls in and uh, all the flesh spreads uh, throughout the tall grass and uh, the three grappled guys fall to the ground. He's dead. Uh, d- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So I feel, I feel, uh, I didn't lose any hit points because I was smart enough to stay out of its reach. But I do feel some life force coming coming at me. I I think right, sort of. <clears throat> oh. Uh, how do you mean that exactly? Well, exactly. Uh, a hexblade's curse would uh, regain, regain. So I haven't lost any, but it gives me two hit points. Hmm. Yeah, that's interesting for some reason. But we'll get into that later. Maybe. Sure. To... <clears throat> sure. Sure. I just thought I'd mention it. Yeah, that's, because I, that's good. I thought it was in, uh, because I thought it was interesting as well. Yeah, it might be interesting. Yeah, because absorbing the life force of this creature might have some unforeseen no, side no, then, effects. then, 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 obviously, it's uh, the rules. If that's the case, then obviously the rules say regain, and you can't <laughs> regain anything if you haven't lost it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Which how can I? Lawyer, but you still take something I, that wasn't yours. But okay, let's. How let's, can let's, I lawyer let, my way out of this? <laughs> let it go for now. It's uh, yeah. Forget we'll talk about that later. Yeah. Okay. Sure. All right. So uh, yeah. Well done. Well, that was a disaster. <laughs> no, I um. So I, the, any the fight you can walk away from. The, yeah. Uh, so, are we lying in a puddle of flesh, or what? Yeah, yeah. It's really close. Uh, can, can it I, sticks to can you. I, it are, are we? Are we I, conscious I, again? I, uh, yeah, you were never unconscious. Uh, or, we were paralyzed. paralyzed. Okay, you can't yeah. move. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, yeah, you don't immediately lose the paralyzation. Uh, it's. Uh, it's either a minute or until you succeed at saving throw. So uh, that's a yeah. At the most, it will last sixty seconds more. Seriously? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I want I want to hear Soul Wings rules though. <laughs> I in in the meanwhile, I'll Two slowly more. walk. I'll slowly walk closer. So I, I, I'll come closer. 11 was not enough, right? 11 is not enough. Okay, I'm going to buy new dice. I, I, I regain <laughs> my movement after a minute. Ten uh, you, you, uh, you, uh, you're no longer poisoned, which means you're no longer paralyzed after, after a minute. So that, that would mean that if the combat had lasted for 10 more rounds, then you still wouldn't have done anything. 
That's uh, <laughs> I might have I might have cast I might have given him some inspiration nine. in the meanwhile. Yeah. So, uh, can anyway, I do a I small can... thing, uh, Dungeon Master? Sure. So, would it be okay that when I get up, uh, the fresh uh, slides from my clothing? Because is there is a reason Thingies. for that. Thingies. 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 Yeah, okay. If there's thingies involved, then I'm sure it's fine. It doesn't for the rest of you, though. The gross flesh sticks to your feathers and your boots, and uh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Okay. It um, doesn't remind. It, it has the, the color of, of, of pale flesh, but it's not uh, actually flesh. It doesn't feel like flesh anymore. It's uh, more. Liquid, sticky, like wax okay. or honey. Once I get close, um, who looks the most hurt? I think that's showing, right? I have been. I'm uh, pretty hurt as well. Yeah, I think Bowen might be the one. Other question Who can I reach without actually stepping into the pool of flesh? Gunter. It would be Gunther. <laughs> Gunther is uh, is putting aside all his uh, uh, yeah concerns, and he's uh, walking to uh, Thomas and Solwing and uh, sees if they are okay. Yeah, they're alive and breathing. Okay. Yeah, he tries to pick them up and uh, yeah, put everything back in order. And okay. Um... Yeah, I'm. I'm not stepping into that stuff. So I'll uh, so on the edge can't blame of you. the of the pool. So, so I'm getting up and I'm stepping out of the stuff, and uh, uh, you see all these small bite marks on my skin. Uh, okay, if, which, if you uh, come towards me, if you uh, if, yeah, if I but, see you step but, out. So you see, you see me step out of it, and the liquid immediately um, leaves my form, so to say, and I step out clean, but still quite wounded. Yeah, so I walk over to you and I put my hand on your shoulder um, and heal you for two hit points. Wow. Uh, <laughs> so I receive uh, your touch and I say, well, thank you. I'm thank you so much. This, I'm not a skilled healer as you are. I'm sorry. No. I saw what you did. I saw what you did for a, a soul wing. That's. I mean, that was amazing. Yeah, but it took everything out of me. I had nothing left afterwards. Uh, for you to be able to cure me now, I'm... Uh, One second, though. Two hit points seems kind of low. Yeah. Don't you get your spellcasting modifier? No, it's it's correct. Okay. Ah, okay. I get it. Thomas is uh, reaching over to Solwing, and he says, uh, Are you all right, Solwing? That takes about 60 seconds, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> then, then, then I start moving again and, and uh, I say, you guys saved my life. I think we all saved each other's lives uh, around here. I think uh, Lady Oddleaf uh, has saved us all. I couldn't have done it without you stepping so bravely in front of that creature, Thomas. I mean, that, that, was, that was a sight to behold and... Uh, that's pure bra bravery that you only read about in the grandest epics. <clears throat> Gunther says, yes, I'm very proud of the boy. He, he, what? He, he, uh, <laughs> yeah, he, he, he wipes his eyes a bit. What in the... How many hells do you have? Nine? <laughs> uh, is there what? a hell? Is there a hell? Yeah, yeah. yeah. There a hell there's the a hell. Where the sinners there's, go. There's a hell, as far as I know. Mm. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah. The the, the uh, yeah, but the, even with the old gods, there was one hell. What the hell was that? I would certainly like to know. 
I, whatever I, it was, it was eating me. It was it was trying to consume me. What happened? The 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 the, the priest went down, and then this happened. You were there. Sorry. Yeah, it, you it, as soon as soon as he he got shot by Thomas. Uh, First, he started gurgling some blood from his throat, and then suddenly his flesh started just cascading off his face, and then he turned into this this monster, this this creature. I, I've never I, seen such a thing in my life. I okay. Have I ever? Okay, I reach into the depths of my worldly knowledge. And uh, and other others knowledge uh, things that I have and okay oh. sounds like check to me yeah, yeah yeah that's a natural one so, okay. <laughs> yeah. okay. I have never seen or heard of anything that looks or sounds or appears like this what's happening ever since i met you guys it's been nothing but craziness that just sounds about it, right starting to feel pretty unlikely and it's that we i think we might have lost our purity of heart oh. bad things come to people who are not fo following the tenets aiden gave us and I think that even though we intend to do good, we are straying. I'm sorry to say it's it's the only way I can explain it. Okay. While the priest is rambling on, uh, Thomas is uh, wading through the mass of flesh and sees if he can find anything uh, that was on the creature. By the way, uh, I snapped my fingers uh, because I saw all the fancy flesh fall off Bowen's uh, nice clothing. Uh, I snap my fingers, point at uh, Soul Wing at one point, and I do the same for uh, for Thomas and uh, clean some of the uh, uh, dirt, like disgusting stuff from from. Yeah, the press the digitization. Bedroom. Yes, press the digitization. Okay. <laughs> press the digitization. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, Am I? Are you neglecting me? And what I'm no, saying, no, no. I, I'm I'm going to react to you, but I I was first letting them because <laughs> yeah, as, as soon as you say that, I I say, what do you mean? That's quite offensive, Bowen. That's quite what? Quite offensive, because, because you know this guy was was after me, so you must mean me with your current because this this guy was not after you. No, I'm I'm talking about the bigger events. The the I'm not talking about you specifically. I'm talking about us. Things are happening to us, but this creature because we was mm -hmm. targeting me. We know that. Yeah, I know that. Of course, uh, we all know that. Yes. So, but it's because okay. Majority. So when I say we, I mean the world. You know, because I think we are we are losing sight of what is good in this world, uh, on these roads that lead us to different places, and I think. Morality is slipping. I might be a bit dramatic right now, but that's what I learned uh, from uh, Old Reeves books. Sometimes you have to be. And uh, Maybe in you... this case, I think I might be right. Maybe we should pray this evening uh, to Adon to uh, get back on our path to greatness, to honesty. Maybe you should try and pray for sun for a, for a time. Yeah, well... I'm not saying that that might be the cause of it, but it might be better to pray to Adon instead. Maybe all your praying to Adon is what's causing this problem. Whoa, blasphemy. Ooh. What are you saying? Oh, snap. <laughs> you see well, Thomas you can't, pausing. You can't mean, you can't mean uh, such... You, you, you just... I'm saying I'm... that maybe your blind your blind faith in in what you think is right is what's is part of this problem, and I don't think it is to be honest. But I mean, it is as likely as what you're trying to say. 
obviously you have a good soul because even this healed me so since you are connected uh this means that you have a good soul as well well i'm trying but it doesn't mean that the world is pressing on us in some evil manner and that we are not good enough maybe but is it a an... slippery slope is what i said i just thought the handkerchief was getting smaller but it might it might be getting bigger the handkerchief the handkerchief on your on your on the world or are you accusing me of something personally bowen no not uh, as in the story you know the you get a bigger handkerchief uh, when you want to do more uh, well, things that are that, that if you want to prove that you are the mighty uh, you start to invent bigger handkerchiefs so you can do more evil below its veil so to say uh, you understand why I... it's your book I understand what you're saying and I think we already uh, talked about this as well uh so okay then i have another question for you bowen if what you're saying would be right then why a... would all this be targeting us it probably isn't it's probably happening to the next person on the road as well that's what i'm saying but we we're losing faith on the road and nobody told us the same stories as we told them so that's not true. It happened to us. Well, I have happen to think to about this. I might be exaggerating, uh, exaggerating just a little bit, but let's let's get. Let, uh, I mean, let's just get on the road and get to uh, our next uh, stop as soon as possible. Um, uh, Thomas was searching through the flash, right? Yeah, we're searching through the flesh, and if he can't find anything in the flesh, he wants to um, uh, track back to the spot where the priest uh, yeah, exploded into this creature. And I think your camera is frozen, can... by the way. Oh, sorry. Or you're a really good ventriloquist. But... <laughs> <laughs> Always like the picture when he comes back online. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Thomas, uh, Thomas first uh, wades through the flesh, and if he can't find anything there, uh, while this whole talk about gods and priesthood and whatever is going on, um, he uh, he immediately returns to the spot where the priest exploded, and then tries to find uh, any anything. Uh, uh, well, well, most there. of his belongings were actually absorbed into the creature, like uh, oh, okay. it's, 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 it's rope and all got eaten away mm -hmm. uh, there is some uh, uh it, it ripped apart first so there is some mm -hmm. stuff there like purple uh, uh cloth uh, but more uh, interesting maybe is uh in the flesh you can still find uh like his teeth uh, not that many as that he had but there's still mm -hmm. there's these needles uh yeah a bit thicker than a needle but uh like this uh and you, you find at least 12 of them okay um these are the poisoned teeth right yes they were if i uh prick it softly against my skin can i feel uh any annoyance coming from it any what uh do i feel numbness numbness in my uh finger if i prick it against my finger uh Oh, uh, actually, make saving throw then. <laughs> That's uh, 13, per, 13 constitution. Uh, yeah, you feel that uh, there's something injected into your... Uh, you feel, that you even see it, like there's a wound and uh, like this black uh, stuff is immediately flows out of it with a uh, with drop of, blood, of your own blood. Okay, I uh, suck it out, spit it out, and then you uh, <laughs> <laughs> like a real MacGyver. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll let that slide then. Okay, I'm gonna collect a couple of the, these teeth. You said twelve, right? Yeah, you can find twelve intact teeth. 
Okay. And I, in the uh, others, I, I mean, he had like hundreds, maybe thousands of teeth, uh, mm -hmm. but they all seem to be gone. Dissolved. Okay. I try to collect these twelve teeth then, and I'll try to figure out if I can do something with it, like coating my weapons with poison or uh, anything like that. For now, it seems, uh, yeah, at least prudent to save them up. So make a note of it. Okay. So twelve poisonous teeth. And do I find anything else? No, nothing that seems to be of you. Yeah, unless you want to collect some of his flesh as well. Because you can no, do that. no, 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 no. I have rations enough. Um, that's it. I'll um, pocket it away. The teeth. Also, um, yeah, that's kind of important though. Uh, while you're doing that, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you see that the area uh, where, uh, where his flesh touched the grass, uh, mm -hmm. the grass has withered away. Like it's become this gray. Blackish okay. stuff. The, so, uh, the, guys, look at this. The, the the grassland is actually dying beneath the creature. As uh, I look at it, do I? Yeah, I'm I'm going to do the same. I'm going to search my memory if I've ever seen this before. Yeah. No, I have never seen anything like Ooh. this before. So I think, uh... I think yes. Okay, make checks if you want to. Uh, yeah. Tell me what can kind I do of it uh, in an investigation kind of way, like uh, really uh, see what has been done to it. Yeah, that's also interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. do that. I think I'm going to use my my history for this because I think that I actually saw it maybe earlier in my life, and my total is twenty one. Twenty one. Wow. Okay, that's nice. Uh, I had a fifth. 15 for uh, history. History as well? At, uh, 12 plus 7 for investigation is a 19. Wow, and, and now you can roll. What the? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, don't know what. I didn't well, actually roll that badly uh, during combat. Just yeah, one okay, roll. true. Oh. But, but, yeah. but he did. Okay, um, so yeah, I'm going to do the, um, the investigation one first. Um, if you look closely at the grass, it doesn't actually seem to be. Uh, uh, withered at all, like it's more mutated. It's uh, yeah. The, mm -hmm. Even on the the the, the 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 sprouts of grass, you can see this tiny uh, harpoon-like jagged uh, edges uh, around it, and it's, it seems very much alive still. Like not dead grass at all. And it's what you're thinking, actually, I think, uh, Solwing. Uh, this very much reminds you of what you saw back home. Oh my god, you guys. This, this oh, and Oddleaf, uh, for you, uh, yeah. you've read about this. This, uh, this oh looks like the grass uh, that is found inside of the wounds of the world. Step, step, don't don't touch that area. I mentioned, and I look over at Solwing because I know that he mentioned uh, the wounds before, so he might know a bit more. I yeah. wipe my hands clean uh, on my. Uh... Oh. This seems exactly like the wound that I've I've seen with my own eyes. And a, a quick question: When you caused the precipitation. Precipitation. Yeah, did it <laughs> clean only my clothes or also my feathers? I can clean your feathers. I can clean up to one cubic uh, square, or okay. yeah, a cubic is already square. Yeah, but uh, uh, but I can do it multiple times if needed. So let's just say that I I clean cleaned you guys. I make my rounds as well, uh, mending uh, teeth marks and clothing and everything. That's Are there any more the wounds actually like being cured? Or, uh... <laughs> no. Uh, no, not no, really. Not yet. Okay, no, fair enough. Um, I but think we, we got that stuff over us. Can it can it affect us? I have no idea. I have cleaned it off as best as I can, but guys, I. What we're seeing here is something that nobody has ever seen, I think. I Could this be 
could this be the creation of a new wound? What's... I fear, I fear that it might be that. What what do we know about the wounds? How like they grow, right? It's, I've heard somewhere that they do they grow. They they, as far as they I expand, know, expand. I mean, they they infect all life around them, and as long as they can affect life, they can grow. So maybe we should really try to to. Uh, yeah, to cover this this area up, but to maybe to to burn everything down around it and and make a warning sign not to get closer. Because this will oh, actually be the start of a new wound. It, it, this is terrible. But does burning help? Well, I'm thinking if we destroy life around it. So if there's no life for it to to prey upon, then maybe we can hold it off like with with my city uh it only started decreasing and expanding as soon as we left and left it alone that's when it stopped expanding no it doesn't didn't stop but it it it, it didn't speed up as much as it did in the beginning sir gunther says uh yeah it might be prudent to uh burn um uh the field around uh, the, the the poisonous wound um bowen can you consecrate the ground well i can do a prayer while i'm burning so uh of course uh but it, it will well, i can maybe bless it but then i have to uh, yeah i can yeah i don't know i, I don't know if i I can. I've never seen something like this before. Um, Bowen is, uh, seems to be settling uh, a bit more into his normal self, less panicky. Um, so, and a thing, is is the flesh still there? Yeah. And what you see is when he he gets near to the fleshy stuff, it now clings to his clothing again, where it didn't before. Yeah. What? What? <laughs> How? What kind of characters do you guys write, man? <laughs> so, <laughs> wait a minute. So the, the the flesh just fell off of you, but now you're walking through it again, and now it stays. Oh, uh, touching the the ends, and yes, it stays on my clothes. Uh, clothing. Yeah. Okay. I'm uh like I don't wait. As soon as you do that, I tell I tell you, Bowen, be Shit, careful. I do, I do notice that. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Sorry. Uh, Great. Solving. Bowen, be careful. We don't know if yeah. it can affect you. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Uh, I, I, I'm. I'll burn it, and I st uh, take a bit of distance to uh, uh, from the flesh and uh, start cooking it. I press to digitate. Uh, cooking. The, the... I press the press the, the cooking check. <laughs> press the digitation. Yeah, well, twelve. Twelve. Wow. Yeah, I, I <laughs> clean. I clean. Uh, I clean the flesh off of bone. Okay. okay. Uh, so burn it. Is that yes, the plan? I'm uh, starting to to. Uh, I come start my start bonfire in quick succession. I I stand next to uh, Bowen. Uh, there's unfortunately. Unfortunately, nothing that I can do in this regard. Uh, but I do mention while he's concentrating on those fires, uh, I do say to Bowen, <clears throat> Bowen, before uh, what I what I said, I didn't mean to say that uh, Adon was um, responsible for this in any way or that not praying to Adon is uh, is a problem. What I mean to say is that, what I meant to say is that here, I mean, you've, you've experienced things and seen things now, I feel that you haven't before and um, your, your blind faith in, in Adon and uh, 
it's causing you a lot of problems, it seems, right now. And what I meant to say was that maybe Adon can't help us all the time. And sometimes you just have to, if you want to make the world a better place, you have to take a look at yourself and make that change, you know? <laughs> for you or for me? <laughs> There's a lot of copyright claims going around uh, Twitch right now, so please be careful. So, so Bowen, <laughs> Bowen gives uh, all three a long stare and then just says, well, I think I was a bit out of it, a bit shocked a moment ago, but don't worry about it. I know you mean well. Yeah, you mean what I'm saying? You, you, yeah. I'm. I feel That's like I can't. A... I'm not explaining this well, but I'll. I'll I, I understand way. what you. Uh, I understand what you're saying, and it's okay. Uh, I apologize for my behavior earlier. I was panicked, and I'm calm again. Yeah. Me Don't too. I apologize as well. It's. Uh, it was upcoming on me. In the meantime, while this is all going on, uh, Thomas is looking around and sees if they are the only ones still here uh, or if they are being watched or anything. I'll make a perception check. Uh, that's a uh, 15. 15. Uh, you're fairly sure that no one's uh, on the road. Are we in the neighborhood of, of trees or anything like that? Not because really. We, it's, we... Uh, the, the, the land here is becoming... Yeah, there's some trees uh, spread about. It's uh, like uh, willow trees, like those uh, mm -hmm. sad willows. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. And uh, the, yeah, the land is becoming more and more flat here and more uh, soggy. And, uh, and we are a little bit off the road to, to have the dinner. Yeah, right? the road's not far, far away. Okay, then, then when they are burning the grassland and everything, I start uh, gathering some wood to make a little bit of a sign. And I t take one of my parchment and I write, do not go into the field. A wound of the world has just a, uh, uh, arisen. Just a warning sign to, to make sure that people don't go there. Yeah, and if I can just jump in on that, uh, I was thinking the same thing to market and maybe Solving, you've shown yourself to be really fast uh, earlier in going to Cabri. Mm -hmm. Might it be a good idea for you to fly back to Cabri and warn that? Um, well, I, I, I hate to admit it, but I'm. I feel that maybe that that uh, Templar of Adon, the High, uh, what was it, Inquisitor? No, Templar. Yeah. Um, Night Templar. Yeah, what was her name? Again? Yeah, I haven't, I haven't met her, so I, I wasn't there when you guys met her. But uh, uh, so she from was what? Night Cilia? Captain. Night, Night her Captain name? Celia. Yeah. Celia. Celia. Yeah. I can't remember her last name, but I'll. I mean, up. I think f this is something that they would never ignore and uh, would devote some men to to try and i think you're you are right we have to do everything in our power to make sure that this, this doesn't grow we can this is so much them. bigger than uh, us right now yeah okay so so let me fly back to cabri then and you continue on to bresker and then i will uh meet you there tomorrow night i think prester I would rather stay and wait for you to come back. We could do that. Because, ah, yeah. Because, uh, Celia Brin, Knight Captain of the Knight Templar of Adon. Yeah, yeah, but if you if you go to Prester, then you can warn the local people there so that on both cities around this new thing, we can inform everyone. So yeah, Prester is actually it's, closer it's, 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 than Cabri. Okay, yeah. At the moment. So... But this is getting really complicated because I think the way that we can manage this situation is by being careful around uh, its borders and warning people of 
actively until someone has arrived who can take charge of the situation. Um, so I, I suggest uh, a lot of us stay at least. And the other thing is, is that how involved do we want to be with in this matter? Because uh, by now um, they have us connected to three different incidents uh, where of which two were uh, prob probably weird as hell, sorry to say the word, I don't mean it as literal hell, I just mean hell in, in, a, in a sense of epicness or something. Um, and uh, um, if we stay here, we probably will not get away very soon because we are, uh, well, involved in some way, I think. Forget what I said earlier, that was a bit of panic panicky thingy, but right now um, I think there's real cause to hold us Good. and I don't mind because I think uh, we, when they catch up to us, uh, we should, uh, well, talk to them to the best of our knowledge, uh, but I'm guessing that if they reach us, uh, we'll be not going to breast her very soon. I agree with you on that, but on the other hand, uh, even though my past experiences with Templars and priests of Cabri were not to my liking, I think this 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 uh, is be beyond and be uh, above us. And and if it takes a little bit of my lifespan to make sure, no, I that know. It, yeah, uh, it's the right thing to do. We should do that, yeah. but we should know that those are probably the consequences we have to suffer. Would you and Gunther do me a favor and write a letter or just at least a small uh, parchment about this so that if they hear me and hear my story and try to doubt me again, that I have some proof that we that we encountered this together? Gunther says, uh, I'll write a letter for you. I'll uh, use my seal. Uh, even though we and the Templars are not on good footing with each other, um, they have to respect the seal, so. And you yeah. do? Bowen, yeah, uh, of course, I, I will. As a brother of Aiden, I, I will put my mark on it and say what happened as it happened and call upon the tenets to uh, give power to my words. Otleaf? I, as a noble woman of Estes, can sign it, but I don't know if my me signing it will add anything to Sir Gunther or Bones' word. I, I think that, that uh, this news is going to reach a lot of eyes and that every ally of, of any of us uh, uh, should see a recognizable sign or mark. So if it, this information falls into the hands of, of your uh, social circles, then they will see that it's a really serious matter because you signed it, as will the Templars if Bowen signs it, as will the other knights if uh, Sir Gunther signs it. I wish that were true, but I don't know if my my name on a parchment will hold up as well as it would have years ago it might be better if my name is not on there but you are famous right he is yeah I, she's I'm, a very good writer yes everything i heard about you must mean that you you have a high uh, social impact please uh i i i think sir gunther and brother bowen's names on the on there will be enough Okay, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, Sir Gunther starts uh, writing uh, uh, writing a small letter explaining the situation and uh, he uses his, uh, he has a ring uh, with a seal on it. And, uh, Signature. Wait, 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 wait Sir Gunther, yeah. first let Bowen sign before you seal it off. No, I'm, I'm putting my sign signature on the bottom of the letter, so. Seal. I thought you were going to. And I'm seeing it afterwards with the same ring. Oh, nice. 
Thank you very much. Just, uh, yeah, there's all this my name, waxy Colin stuff Goodhart. lying around anywhere, so you can use that for it. <laughs> no, no, no. It has been cooked. It has <laughs> been uh, solidified somewhat. Yeah, it's actually, yeah, it's kind of a big fire you start. Um, it seems to be, it seems to burn uh, easier at the spots where it's. Uh, corrupted so to say and mm -hmm. uh, as soon as it reaches the the, the fringes of that uh, yeah the grass is kind of wet there and uh, flames die off quicker or it becomes just this pillar of smoke uh. well I keep at it because it's yeah. it can stay in uh, in, uh, in one position yeah, you're doing a really uh, yeah really good job thorough, but, uh, thorough. Yeah. And you're pretty sure you got everything. Yeah, I mean, the area, the total area you need to really burn is like uh, maybe 30 square feet. Uh, 50 to be safe. 30 feet square. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I just keep at it. Yeah. Okay. All, all this time, uh, Thomas is really um, scanning the area because we are setting up a really big bonfire here and smoke is yeah, popping up so we are yeah quite a beacon at this moment yeah yeah you're sending out some, quite some smoke signals uh while you're doing that bowen i uh, wanna uh tell you that somehow those words the creature whispered that you resound a bit uh within you while you're working your uh magic then, then under my breath, I'm saying, I'm not a liar. I'm honest. I've always been. That's fine. Are you lying? So uh, at, some, at, at, at some point, uh, I will just uh, try to sit down somewhere with my back against a tree, away from the perimeter that Bowen is burning, and I feel sort of useless. But I will just sit there uh, and, um, yeah close my eyes and dig deep in myself mentally uh, and try to go to some place and just keep asking what was that what is this what's happening what was that okay uh whew. Yeah, at some point you hear uh, you hear the familiar sound, so to say, and just uh, two words: um, greed, manifest. Greed, as in greed, as in greedy. Yeah. That's it. Come on. Okay. You, you yeah. found some teeth, right? Yeah, I have uh, found some teeth. Do you think it would be prudent to take one of them as proof next to the letter? Yeah, sure. Not a problem. And I, he, yeah, he carefully takes one of the teeth. Uh, the the teeth is it's dead, right? Or is it also alive? Uh. It doesn't have heartbeat and it's not breathing, so it's... Okay, but it's not mutating or anything, it's just uh, a tooth, right? If you want to call it that, sure. Okay, good. <laughs> then he gives it to... Uh, <laughs> then he gives it to Solwing. Okay, so... Sol Be Wing, careful with it, because it is poisonous. I... 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 Wrap it in a <laughs> I little <know>. bag. <laughs> in, a, in a little bag, I think. Mm -hmm. um, I take the letter. I ask you guys to take care of my stuff, and just before I go, I try to take some of the the remains of the dinner we were eating before this all happened to have just a small lunch packets of uh, Bowen with me for the next uh, 24 hours. 
and uh, then I I, uh, I set off and I tried to to uh, make haste to Cabri. Wow, I think that after everything that happened, Old Leaf sort of lost her appetite at some point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Bowen's cooking is so good. It's uh... and, yeah. And it's even during the burning of the flesh, Thomas thought all the way, oh, barbecue chicken. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it smelled good. Yeah. It smells no, it so smelled good. foul. Okay, it smelled okay, foul. Okay, like, okay. Uh, yeah. The, the, the... Yeah, there were. Bowen, there were. At uh, some point in, during the close, uh, cloister, your cloister days, and during the, the plague, the dark delirium, the, you had to burn a lot of bodies, and it kind of reminded you of that. And then I fall quite si silent and uh, take a m moment to reflect and pray to Aiden uh, while I do so. And, uh, yeah. yeah, it's a, a solemn. Uh, yeah, uh, maybe a tear is uh, streaming from a uh, coming from my eye. Uh, at one point, uh, when if Bowen's still uh, just going at it, I um softly i might i mean uh, i'm assuming that this is difficult for him uh anyway i mean it's uh hard work but uh I probably he's, yeah he's going through some stuff maybe um so i'll just softly sing a song for him um about a mother taking care of her son uh which is a song from uh, one of my famous plays uh from the first act and uh give him a d6 bardic inspiration just a sort of uh you have a name for the song or the play try to uh, aid aid you uh um Yes, I do. Um, I'm not going to give you the song title right now, um, but uh, and the uh, play title is also still in development. So I'm actually not going to. Okay. But there is a play. I even wrote a, but it's based off of existing material. It's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Made the title. yeah, sure. Okay. I'll, so I'll, I'll I'll come back. I'll come back to it uh, when it's relevant. I'll keep you to it. All right. Uh, yeah. I'm guessing we should end the session here. Actually, looking at the time. Yeah. Mm. Oh, so for much. reference, uh, uh, Kiss is uh, uh, staying uh, within the curves of uh, Solwyn. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, at oh, times, I take a a quick peek to where he's going. That's that's dangerous. Solving my <laughs> oh <"Ooh>, snack. If he bites it, that it disappears. So, <laughs> he saved my life. I like him already. Where, where in the close of sewing is Kiss right now at the moment? Because if you take a peek and <laughs> no, in, in, in his in his no. in his cap, in his boots. Boots. yeah, because yeah, no. he's That's not wearing that much coat. clothes. I mean, it's nice under his coat. I mean, it's all fit. Yeah, well, uh, be, between the feathers of uh, where, it, uh, where it touches his arms and. I, I think I think the best place if I'm flying for him is indeed in my in my in my hoodie because that's not yeah, on. Okay. Sometimes he flies off and you and lands on you. It's quite a, a quick. In any case, so. uh, not much yeah, of a cliffhanger, but that. we leave the group in a kind of a solemn note. Uh, you, you guys have any closing remarks? What do you think of the session? Awesome. Oh wow! Oh, oh, uh, very yeah. awesome. I just said very, almost yeah. said the wrong word. I'll never forget awesome. you again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Really is, exciting. Uh, the ne the yeah, next time a... I'll leave off the arms. <laughs> it's really, man. Yeah, th this was one. This was a session. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know, right? Thanks, awesome, thanks, man. Roger. That, that yeah. I did not. <laughs> yeah, well, oh, thanks. I did you, not you, expect you, that. No, okay. I well. did not expect that. Yeah. And still more character development. Yeah. I I love it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And the character, yeah. characters. Yeah. I, oh man, this is great. 
I love yeah. it. But yeah. also uh, on 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 a uh, more meta uh, uh, level, I we probably have to remind everyone. We might need to tell them about the idea that we had for a show, Jasper, and we have oh, yeah. to. We forgot about that. Yeah. And we have to point everyone to our social media account. Yeah, the obligatory uh, <laughs> like comments. Uh, well, it was awesome, Roger. It was awesome. Yeah, it was awesome. Awesome. yeah, yeah I thought so as well. So thanks to you as well. It's, uh, it's not uh, all me, of course. So if you guys liked uh, what you see, please subscribe to our Twitch channel as soon as you can. At least follow us and uh, keep checking in on us on when we're live, uh, which is a moment... Uh, uh, on Mondays bi-weekly and uh, on Tuesdays bi-weekly. Um, and you can see the, the stream schedule on Facebook and on Twitch. Uh, our VODs, once they uh, disappear from Twitch, will uh, go on YouTube. So please follow us there. Subscribe to our YouTube ten channel to see all the latest videos. Uh, like and uh, click on the little bell icon to keep notified of our dealings. Uh, and lastly, follow us on uh, Instagram and Facebook for all the current uh, news, uh, behind the scenes footage and uh, art, the artwork that uh, the amazing artwork that Eric made uh, is uh, going up on there as well. Uh, since we're going, currently doing a theme on monsters, I'm hoping that I can uh, use the, the picture of the last monster to, to go up on that uh, on Instagram soon. So you can view that uh, amazing art for yourself. Um, so yeah, follow us there. Uh, and then, yes, the last thing that I wanted to say is at the moment we're on a Monday uh, live on Twitch bi-weekly. And uh, since we feel that it might be uh, 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 more convenient to uh, uh, do something every Monday, we're thinking about how to fill this space on the Mondays that we're not playing Precipice of Dreams. So one idea that we have and we're going to try is do another show entirely. Um, and that came about when I mentioned that I have never played Torment, uh, Planescape Torment before, the, 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 the PC game. Uh, and that's Jasper and Roger's favorite game uh, ever, I think, right, guys? It's up there. Yes. It's up there. I mean, so, Mass Effect, Final Fantasy, yeah. The idea is that on uh, days where we don't uh, play Precipice of Dreams, I will play uh, Planescape Torment, but guiding me through it will be my uh, living encyclopedia of Torment uh, knowledge, uh, Jasper. Planescape, yeah. Uh, yeah, Planescape okay. knowledge, uh, because you know quite a lot about it. Uh, you have the campaign like. setting, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, he'll be guiding me through it, uh, and I think that might be a nice uh, uh, show as well. Uh, fun to be had. And uh, whenever people can, we might do something with people checking in and, and helping out and uh, that sort of stuff. So anyway... Thank you all for, uh, for 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 watching us uh, tonight and uh, and before. Yeah, one more thing I want to add to all all of that is uh, sending your questions for uh, the talking void. Yeah. Next week's guest will be uh, Jin. Uh, so ask him anything like uh, what does kakaka mean or whatever you want. <laughs> and uh, yeah, feel free to leave that uh, anywhere. And yeah. Thanks to you guys, the players. Thanks to everyone in chat. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll leave you now with uh, the outro. Oh. See you. Goodbye. I, I want to keep saying caca. <laughs> 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 <Come Right. on. laughs>